Hey everybody, welcome to a quick video. All I'm going to do in this video is mount the Aero LED Sun Beacon 2 light to the bottom fuselage skin. This is the Sun Beacon 2 LED light from Aero LEDs. It's available in red or white, and the one I chose to install on my airplane is the red one. Now before I mount this, I wanted to show you something pretty cool. There's two ways you can mount the beacon from Aero LED. You can see on the bottom of the beacon, there's two holes here. You could just drill two holes in your skin and put this on the bottom and then put the two screws in. That's the quick and easy way. There's also another way you can do it. You can get this little mounting plate from Aero LEDs. This is the bag, it comes in, the part number is 01-1096. You can find it on their website. It comes with this and this little set screw. And what this is, is this is a quick turn mounting plate. If we put the wires through here, so what you do basically is you would mount this to the bottom of your airplane, and then from the outside of the airplane, you can put your wires through like that, let me get this up here and then watch this you put so this is on the bottom of your airplane like this i'll do it however you can see it here you put this on like this and it's just a quarter turn or not even a quarter turn but you know you can see it just turns very slightly you put that set screw in there to lock it in place and now your beacon is installed it's really cool i ordered this plate because i thought this would just be easier if i ever need to change this beacon for whatever reason all i have to do is go into the access hatch on the bottom of the plane and disconnect the wire. And then from the outside of the plane, you loosen that set screw, give it a, a, a slight little turn, and it comes right out like that. Isn't that neat? So what I'm gonna do is mount this plate on the bottom of the, the uh, fuselage skin. If we look under my cruiser, you can see the beacon I have here on the bottom. And that's about where I'm going to mount it on the Super Duty. I suppose if I wanted to, I could mount it on the top, or I could even make a, some sort of mounting plate or something and mount it on top of the tail. And I know one of the things that everybody's gonna ask is, is the beacon required? Because on the wingtip here, we have our anti-collision light, which is the strobe to be legal to fly at night. So as long as I have this, which I will on the Super Duty, I do not need a beacon. I don't need a beacon on my cruiser either. I put it on only because I like lights. The more lights, the better. And if you're sitting out on a ramp at night and you're getting ready to start an engine, having that beacon on the bottom of the airplane will light up you know, the whole ground under it red when it flashes. So it really attracts attention to your airplane and lets everybody know you're about to start an engine. So having said that, let's get the Aero LED beacon mounted on the bottom of this skin. All right, I will show you where I choose to mount mine. I'm mounting it right here. And the reason I'm mounting it back here is, you know, I think, say you mounted it right out in the open here in the middle of your skin. Well, this isn't, you know, this is floppy. It's not as secure and as stiff as a skin is right next to an L angle. So I'm gonna mount mine right here like this. And the reason I have this tape on here is the tape is parallel to this L angle. And then to get this straight, you know, like this way, all I have to do, let me see if I can do this while I'm holding the camera, is I can make it so that the edge of the tape goes through this hole and goes through that hole. And then I know that it, it's parallel to the L angle. So now just get it lined up there and then I can drill a hole. Now this gives you, it looks like six, seven, eight holes to hold this on. I'm probably only gonna drill maybe two or four or something like that. I don't really think we need all eight holes. So I'll just drill a couple in there. It, this does not come with screws. So I think I have some screws that will fit in there. You can see, or maybe you can't see, that this is, these holes are countersunk. So you need a countersunk screw to mount this to the skin. 
If you are building an airplane, I think you will find it handy to have a large bench stock of hardware. Every time I go to Oshkosh, I load up on nuts and bolts and washers and clamps and nut plates and all kinds of stuff. Because in times like this, when you need a certain screw, it's pretty nice to be able to go to your own bench stock, grab the screws you need, and continue on without delay. The holes are just a tad too small for the screws I'm using, so I'm using a number 20 drill bit and opening up just the four corner holes. There's nothing tricky at all about mounting this plate. The first hole I just drill on its own like this. I start off with a smaller drill bit just so I can get it perfectly centered in the holes that I drew on the skin. Then I open it up to number 20 and then I'll put the plate in there with a screw and then drill through the plate and the skin for the other three screws. That just makes sure they all line up perfectly and they all fit in the holes or the screws all fit through the holes. And yes, this would have been easier to do before I routed these wires. I'll talk more about these two wires in the next video. All right, guys, it's done. That was super easy. It literally took like five minutes. Now, just to be clear, you guys understand that this actually gets mounted on the outside of the plane, on the bottom of this skin. I'm just putting it here for now, just so I can work top down. It's hard to get these screws because they're flush mounted screws. <laughs> All right, I got it. It was sitting on the wood that was underneath it. So it was kind of making a screw crooked. Anyway, here's the four holes. Here's the plate and it'll get mounted on the bottom of the skin. And I was actually just getting ready to flip this over and screw it on, but then I remembered I gotta paint the airplane first. <laughs> so at least, uh, you know, the holes are drilled and it's ready to go. After the airplane is painted, then I could just reach in from the access hatch here, back to here. Somebody can be on the outside of the plane with a screwdriver on the screws, and then I can be on the inside with a ratchet or a, uh, a socket, I mean, putting the, uh, the nuts onto here. Anyway, that was super easy. If you wanna know what screws I use there, they are MS24693S50 would be the longer ones. These are just shorter ones. Those are a little bit longer. So the five zeros are the ones I use. I think you can order those probably from Spruce or any uh, aviation hardware place. Well, that's it. I wish I could show it to you on the airplane, but like I said, the beacon, it doesn't actually get mounted until obviously after the plane is built and painted. So, and I will show you the beacon again later because I will show you all the wiring for all these lights that I do too. For now, that is just mounting the plate onto the skin. Super easy, took about five minutes to do. Uh, I'll leave the link down below to Aero LEDs if you wanna buy these same lights. My entire Super Duty is covered with Aero LED lights. So, I guess we'll see you on the next video.